Hello, Grandma D. Hi, Miss Marion. We're just waiting to see who logs in with us today. All right, let me pull up our list of recordings. Is there any uh, recording that, uh, any tape or topic that comes to mind that you want to listen to? Well, let's see, what did this say about, uh, uh, it was the flash to cost about, does it say flag song? Oh, yeah, flag song. Uh, let's see. Veterans Day was just over. Let's see. I never knew that was there. I just saw it. Uh, this one right here? Oh. We can see what that is. Let's see. And then the other is... Oh, that's it's a time. Thing. The flag song. And then next to it is, what is it called? Traditional song. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, Iowa traditional songs right here. Uh huh. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, that one's thirty-seven minutes long, and let me go to this one, the flag song. That's twenty-one minutes long. Um. Let's see, we, you said Veterans Day. Let's look and see if they have, I thought they did have something on veterans. Tell me if you see it. Okay. Well, there's World War II. Welcome home, World War I vets. And then here's World War II. There's victory dance and song. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what do you think? What do you want? I was just thinking since it was better today. <clears throat> see what their songs were. That was all. Um, what yeah. Else? What do you think, Miss Marion? Does that sound good to you? Yeah, if we could find a flag song, that'd be good. But I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Let me stop sharing oh, this. You, even uh, World War II songs are are good too, but those are, I'm sure, veterans songs. But those are those are good. They might have they might have a flag song in in the first category of that. Who knows? Oh, okay. So let me share my. So this is that first recording that uh, we saw. Um, Dying Bay songs and Kiowa flag songs. Oh, All right. Yes. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. All right, can let's see see if you can hear it. See how it sounds. This is a 27th session at the Witch Line Church, December the 5th, 1977. People are present today, Lord Toyball, Tom Little T, James Silverhorn, Mr. and Ms. James uh, Tuichet, Esther Topon, Hazel Boto, Lucy Samte, George Cunyadotti, Stephen Hall, Yale Spotted Bird, uh, Marcella Williams, Frank Tomte and myself, Nelson Big Bow. The subject will be the songs of the Taipei dance. Also, uh, how the 
reflect song or song. At this time, we will ask, uh, this is a Witchland Church, and uh, it's a God's place here. Where okay, can you hear that? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Okay, awesome. All right, I'll go. We'll go ahead and play. Try to do all we can for our Kawa people, our younger generation. And at this time, uh, that's one of the tarred minister, my uncle George Penn, in order to give an education. It's okay, though. Big man, it's what kind of a game of comedy. Well, it's okay, though, that bad dog is all, yeah. อ่าก็กันได้เด็ดดําแท้คุกติเอมาก็ต้องอีดอเดนดอดอเดนอเตติปานให้ดอคนได้อยากจะต้องอาจจะออกจะออกจะพาวต์ต้องเกิดให้อ
Okay, um, that was the opening prayer. Um, Grandma D, would you like to make any comments? Oh, he said so much. I couldn't remember all of it. He just touched everything, went to everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> I can't even begin to think except he was talking about uh, different the topic, I guess. He did mention that. Uh, he wasn't an, an, a type of person to say anything about anything like that, even though that uh, he just said he always was very careful of what he said when it came to, I guess, Kiowa traditions and things. And then I guess there's a visitor there. He said that there was this, uh, what did he call him? And didn't say honk, yeah. Maybe he did. Anyway, another man from another tribe was there. He did mention him toward the last. Prayed for him that he would give a, a safe travel wherever he's from. So I was trying to think of that. Marion, did he say honk at E? Or something. I don't know. Anyway, I know he mentioned another man from another tribe was there. <clears throat> and then he talked about... I think he did. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, that was a lot to cover in his prayer. He touched on some individuals and some was, who were sick. And then he prayed for my father. He lives alone. He's alone, but that's the way life is. That's what he said. And then he prayed about me and my children. And he prayed for uh, Nelson Big Bow. And he's the director of this. He, he, he prayed for him. So, overhaul. I forgot. I know. It's, of course, Kawas do that. That's the way they pray. And, and so... It's always a blessing to hear them because they did that all the time. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. that was awesome. Um, uh -huh, Grandma. Um, Miss Marion, would you like to comment? Well, that was, you know, a lengthy prayer, but there were a lot of uh, good words in there that, that I haven't heard in a while. And um, there was one interesting word, though. Um, toward, Dolores, he said, and he said, and so on. That's and so on. I just, that is not Louis. Um, not a thing or anything like that. I think he was referring. Oh, was, do you know what he was referring to? No, oh, I don't. Really? No, he was just talking Louis. about that he was. Yeah, uh, doing. Eek. Yeah. No. I just, yeah, that was one word I thought. I know Luke's got a different Indian name, but when he came up with that word, I just wondered what he was referring to. Uh, what was the word again? Uh, yeah. Talking about an old man. Joy. Yeah. I thought maybe, yeah, I thought fair to stay at home kind of a guy. I mean, with, you know, you said you said his he was alone at the time. Yeah. Um bald they call me. He said it's bald they call me, you know, ongo bald they call me. You see him and he's by himself. Yeah. And then he said on key, you know, was another interesting word. On key, you know. 
in the past. Yeah. Yeah. On the past, uh, past tracks or past learning, that's what it is. And bala adol, and you know we never hear that word too much. Bala adol, which means like the uh, older people, and those who you know. And I think that's another word that we hardly hear because that word blunt can also be used in another term as well. And then the other word was a homo so dull. I mean like people that have left walking on. Yeah. That's another word. Yeah, people that have left us. Oh my goodness, there was just so many words in there that would just, the word alone can tell a story. <laughs> but, um, um, that sounds like a really good okay. prayer. I'm not, Maybe to uh, translate one of these times. Mm -hmm. Seems like mm -hmm. you covered a lot. Hi, Miss Vilma. Oh. Hi. We, uh, we're just listening to this. Uh, we just started this tape. Uh, it says, here, let me expand this a little bit. It says Naife songs and Kiowa flag songs. It's KCP number 23. 23. And we just finished uh, listening to the opening prayer. Oh, who who was the speaker? Who gave the prayer? George Coyadotti. Oh. George Coyadotti. And uh, he, he's prayed for a long time. Well, about five minutes, but uh, he had some really interesting words in his prayer, so... That's what we were just discussing. Okay. Anything else on the prayer? I think the Lord covered, uh, you know, with her summary about what, you know, the prayers of the great. He covered a lot of territory in his, oh. in his prayer. Okay, awesome. Uh, well, we'll uh, go ahead and press play and see who the first speaker is then. Uh, cool. uh, Stephen Hall will make a reception on the songs. Thank you. 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 Go the dog, Well, they switched real fast. <laughs> okay, so uh, was that Stephen Stephen Zotai Hall? Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. He talked briefly. Um, Grandma D, did you catch any words that you wanted to comment on? Well, he didn't speak long, but he said a lot. <laughs> He's talking about, I, my memory is really bad, but he was talking about 
how they started the song is talking about the brush dance and that it was they used it to fan themselves off and and as I understand it, uh, he talked as if the dancers were already seated. And then what? the people came in with the brush dance. I mean, yeah, with the song. I think he said they sang three songs. He didn't say what song. And then, anyway, maybe Marion's memory is better than mine and Velma. But anyway, that was, he didn't speak long, but he brought up things that were very interesting. Oh. And that's the way he said in the past, that's the way they, that's what he knew. So I'm not sure if he said he's, he was there and watched that or not. I don't know. So that's interesting. Those who are. That's all we see now. But anyway, he's talking about way back. That's the way. <clears throat> very brief, just few statements, but it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hear the other two, see what they heard. Oh, uh, who, oh, oh um, Miss Marion, would you like to comment on Stephen Hall? Well, he um, talked about the the flag, or he said, "Very cool to do," and he was saying something. Well, the fact that. They never had a flag before, and I kind of skipped a little bit, a couple of words there. But he said, he said about the time, he meant he cut the brush for the dance. And, and then after that, that was just very brief. That's the only thing I got. Out of oh. uh, songs that they sang. We didn't really go into detail. Oh, okay. And that was what, that's what he. Mm -hmm. and very I brief. hope. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, Miss Velma, are you able to make any comments? No, I'm just I'm in between trying to get, unload and get in the house. So. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll come back. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's see. I think she said the name of the next speaker. I'll go back just a couple seconds. Very good. I could talk about together. Hold on, on the high good. You to lay good so that we can get a good to go to that. I got to show you. I could talk about the over. No, yeah, I can. Thanks, Pete James. No, no, I did. So we are going to say you like them one more time. I could tell you. I got. Tali, the cat, because I'm Gihayum, I told the cat, born and get tower than him. Time for Gokem Kumasant on top of dog at Kala. I call the hank, the camp Puyum Kunak. Go out there, Munso, I'm Guna, off the Kikinko, Puyi Pinko, wash it out, and I'm Guna tell, I call that Omo can buy. There could I call that dog, you're on the hank, and hank it there. That's a wood who go on. Ei kantoja mistä tain, koska kanko kun tehdä, että kun kuni kanai kekan puhjan kun, vaikka em dorsa em dorsa, että se kekan tekee tätä. Uu biit on sulla, että piike donke saa, eli kekan takkom, että ne kui donke em dorsa. Okay, thank you. All right, Grandma D, what would you like to share about? Uh, his speech. 
Well, I always have to start with the last because that's the one I remember the most. But he talked about at uh, the uh, how they dance. He said it was the way I got it. To me, it was they danced whenever they were having a dance, and they call it I. Is it I call something? I think I don't know what that was. It's uh, they talked about uh, uh, that word I can't really get, but they both uh, Stephen Hall mentioned it first, and he did, and he just talked about. And I think he said they had food in the middle. I couldn't might have heard it wrong. But anyway, it sounded like it wasn't anything really. I mean, started off like it was kind of informal. They danced, you know, I guess when they start singing the song. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the scale that they do now. Oh. Oh, who? All right, uh, Miss Marion, if you'd like to comment. Yeah, he said, as a young boy, he saw the board dance. Yeah. Um, he said, I ain't gonna hang, you know. And to me, I ain't gonna tie. Uh, Dolores, I ain't gonna tie means flag, right? That's what? Flag. Yeah, on yeah. F L A, and yeah. he said there was no flag then. And then he said, Oh, usually over there by the Washita is one place where they danced. You remember? And but he said, Hi, yeah, hey, you know, they like, I guess, would be more like what Dolores said, informal, where they would just get together certain times and dance in summer. And then, of course, he again mentioned, he said they had no flag at that time. And uh, they danced. And they placed the food on the ground. The people, they ate like that. But somebody prayed. And um, after that, they danced. But it, that was about all. It was very brief. No bunch of detail. But I know he kept saying, I ain't got time, you don't. And to me, he was talking about, at that time, they had no flag, flag so. I don't know. Yeah, he did say so, flag so. And flag so, that time. And so, that's what I heard. Oh, but oh. Oh, aho. So he must have been talking about a long time ago. Yes. Anyway, oh. Yeah, little boy. Oh, okay. He was a little boy. That's awesome. Um, let's see, Miss Bellman's back. Uh hi Grandma Martha. Hi. On day on day oh bon. Oh, I went to a birthday meal, that's why I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> so we're just listening to this tape, uh tape number twenty three. Uh, Taipei songs and Kiowa flag songs is what it says. So okay. we're about uh, about eight minutes in. So we're about to listen to the third speaker now. So, uh, co. Nei ko paketo i te tapi. Okay, <laughs> Bolakok, 
pako dokkong da uite kumuna hokta kode kohi tako. Dokki ma hapan batu. Te oba oba hokia jahai keto eko batu mo kede chukia di gya gupte toko. Oko engt kum kuna to diko. Dokki a hapata pako dokki a tkong tapad. Yiki ta hapata ki ko antri di ko mo eko to pai ko hiya kong ta hako ka yi. Oh, wow. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Skipped way ahead. Don't uh, go. ラビアントザンルチケコドキャバトタイプコンケコ。ホナンホナンギンキャムコン。エイコトンゲトトエントマークヨンソンカルコキイゲコンエンコンキーパケドパケケサラレコンコン。エイコトンゲトトボルコキ
you know, ah. but now, nowadays it's, you know, they go until midnight or however late. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh -huh. that's, a, that's the thing that, that, that I, I, I uh, thought was interesting. Oh, that's good to remember. <laughs> Stay up all night. <laughs> Oh, Miss Velma. Um, right. uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Switch that not at night, just in the afternoon. Oh. I, oh. I was someone my generation said, uh, I was at Red Buffalo Hall and they were going to gourd dance. And he said, they don't gourd dance. You don't gourd dance at night. And it was my generation. And he just, he was always telling me things like that, saying, making comments that he knows that I know him and I know, you know, why he says those things. So he always, but that's what he said. He came in, they were putting their chairs down, and they were dancing, saw what they were doing, gourd dancing. He said, you don't gourd dance at night. <clears throat> and so that's um, what that I'll tell you I'll tell you why though back there they didn't have lights <laughs> but, uh, they had, but they had fire so if they wanted to dance and now they could build a fire and have light by the by the <laughs> wood fire anyway oh that's, that's all <laughs> oh grandma that's a good point um Let's see, uh, Grandma Martha, would you like to comment? Or well, add? I think they, they covered a lot of that already. Just for remembering what they've talked about. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know if I could add much to it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, all right. Let's see. We're, looks like we're almost halfway through. Okay. Uh, play the next part. Uh, cool. Yeah, let's be... Ah. <clears throat> it's only Tom Kimo I got. Tom Kikette, what I had. I can't get come, I did so eager at Tom Kim. He come on tape, I had the more suitsu. And don't keep it all, get more get that I get it. I'm got get that, but I go on to get high on high, get that, let's get those any, that they all get that, and go get them, go and get that, get them, but I don't get that. Oh, I got that. Yeah, I get a vote. I could say, get a low at that. I could see them. I'm going to get Tava high on that. Got get Tava going my own. I'm going to the old Kun get that. Then I got from you go get that. I call tag a dog. It's on all my audio. Go about so late. Oh, get your dog. Dog, yeah. Hold down, dog, yeah. I'm a get dog home. Oh, yeah. Get out there. I'm on it. They get pulled out so hard. But get signed. Get out so hard. Go quiet, dog. I get a get point, I got on time, come gone to so hot. Dog get sun, I got the car, oh, bad man, you can't help. Oh, you did all get high, get go high on the. Now I got five years ago, I get that on Tom King, I got time, but by the way, oh, you did high, get down, oh, yeah, pond, but oh, you had all get high, get. Okay. Who, who, who was that? Who was that talking? Uh, 
Oh gosh, who is it? Um, they said it right at the beginning, but I could barely hear it. I don't. I don't remember. I couldn't hear it. Let's see. We're at eleven feet. Let me. Um, I could try to rewind it really quick and see. I think it was Grandpa James Two Hatchet. Yeah, it oh, two hatchet. Like yeah, two hatchet. They did say two hatchet. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Grandma D. Go. Well, it sounds like he uh, uh, he said today is just, he was just gonna talk about what he knows and. And he referred to the women's dance right off. And then he did mention that they did talk about, um, no, I guess, court dance. But he's talking about the women and their uh, victory dance songs. And then that's when they had the flag. And then, and then he talked about, uh, let me see how to write it down. Uh, and then they made songs and they sang words they wanted to make, you know, concerning, I guess, whatever they were uh, talking about. He said, Gitsangedo. So I'm thinking about, he's talking about the area when there was either World War One or World War Two, And that means Gitsangedo. That means they were disturbed about the situation. I guess there's there are men who were in service. So then that's when, you know, they danced and sang. But but he did use that word and I've heard it before in in terms to of not here but in the past some different place. Some other recording anyway that that was a disturbing time for World the both world wars. On the other hand, you have to think that even before then, then, then you didn't have to go across to find your enemy. The enemy came looking for you when they were on the plains and they had to contend with the U.S. Army. And so anyway, maybe they, they I, I understand what he's saying because they always had to look after the army, the soldiers coming so anyway, Omaha. Oh, oh. Miss um, Marion, would you like to comment? He was stating that Aaron, these, they're discussing the past, and but he knew what they were talking about. And... Uh, that uh, that um, he carefully watched and listened to all these the songs and dances, and I know he did because he talked about them quite a bit when I when I would speak with him. But he's talking that he since I guess they were talking about the flag and they never really got so far. They haven't really touched on that. But he talked about the women. Uh, dancing and the flag so <clears throat> for the uh, military and then of course he said that was a uh, time of, it was uh, a time get dog which meant it was a worrisome time and that is the in reference to having a flag song for our military but he was saying that his brothers met his friends and people that were there at this time when they were telling these little stories that they were all there and they knew of it and so and then he just stopped over home. Oh, uh -huh. All right. Uh let's see. Miss Velma, would you like to comment? Oh, <clears throat> just to um, just to say that he um, several times he said that I was there or like he witnessed it and he saw it. So, you know, that that is what he actually saw when he was sharing that. 
Ồ. Oh. 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 Um, Grandma Martha, would you like to comment? Well, they pretty much covered it. I I kind of got the same words that they heard on there. Oh. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Let's see. Okay. That was. Uh, all right. Let's go to the next speaker. Uh, go. <clears throat> Who was that? Was that Esther Topa? Esther Topa, yeah, Esther Topa. Oh, she was really brief, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> Grandma D, do you want to go first? Yes, yeah. <clears throat> she talked about, she said that we don't know much. I guess she means from way back. But she mentioned somehow, I don't know the phrase she used exactly, but she talked about how the young people would know. And she said everything was argued, everything was done last. And uh, uh, she said, like I say, she mentioned that we don't know much. She means way, way back. But Everything was, they did everything nice, and then that's what she mentioned something about young people, those that follow. And, and that's about it. I've got everything they did. You know, she didn't say much. So, except that the, and there was a, all of them sometimes they'll say, the, the those who participate that they don't know much, but they just know what they they know what they know, and they learned it from the those who are the older people. So that's kind of the way she's <clears throat> expressing herself this time. Overhaul. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, let's see, Miss Velma. Uh, I don't have anything to add. Oh, uh, from Martha? Just at the end, she said something about it being made well. She said, yeah, all he don't. She said that at the end. Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Um. Okay. We'll go to the next speaker. Lucy, something. No, I ain't got. Get those on my hand, they get the patai, but when get the patai. I go shun, they get tall. No, I've been going time, but he got the con girl, but he got あ、こよ、そう。きこまあ、こいとと、きこ。結構なんだぜ、あ、さん。きおきこよ、あ、さん、きこ。えこ。え、ないだ。ね、ごごごだ、と、きこよ、あ、おきこ。おいこ、え、
Okay, Dramadi. Mm -hmm. Well, she said she saw uh witness the gourd dance and they dance first and then this similar to some another speaker, you know, then they they gourd dance. And she also said there was no uh flag. Just recently they had the flag. Oh, oh. Wow. that was Lucy something. Uh -oh. All right, uh, Miss oh, Marion. Okay. Oh. Let me. I forgot a little part. See, I have to think. She said she first saw the the first time they ever used the flag was at Chief Appetones. Mm -hmm. There was a dance there, and they used a the flag there. She she saw that. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, uh, Miss Marion. Okay. She um mentioned she saw the dance for a short time, and same thing with uh, Nalora said that uh, she remembers there was uh, no flag, they saw the flag later on, and. That was about the end of her story. Oh. Oh. Uh, from uh, Miss Velma. They did. <clears throat> they covered most most everything. Oh. Uh, Grandma Martha. Okay. Um, she said they're talking about the gore dance, and she saw a little bit. Uh, and she said the elders dance or the older people dance. And they also had the brush dance. And then she went on to, to uh, finish talking about the dances and said something about that flag. She said, like um, Dolores said, she said the first time that they raised that flag was at the chief's home or his place. That's it. Oh. Oh, wow. That's interesting. The whole story behind that flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dolores told me that story a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello, Boto. <clears throat> Ego Gilbert Glenn White Fox Opogo. Em Aman Batnot Odit so em Kai Batto Haye on the Yet Ode Omo. The Oyot Sire and Yahai get the Palke go the Goyo. Ego no, I got. Ak e de go. 
Tsomai ka doi. Kiki ke omge togul pa doi. On hulit saan. Hai koi kong ke ne no okon i do loon doi to kekong to. Oko habai doi. On haatil monan gudo ko kudei di saan. Niko ko teik ko ba doi ko ei ko getteik pa tago ei. No alohi ato. Kuunailik ja dogug ja koudu mokul dog uukoiku ja lidhu temmaagu mukah kil. Ohi ooku taipi, taipi ku alem kuun maaku. Oldo kuun ja heiku ei teohjati jähto ooku ohjaat onaldi kuun maaku. Iya to hondeo jo tsulo ne beto, beto hondeit oogien ke dooma ei neho nopote nyahai keiko de tooma tsulo ko. Ko kuudui te hondei at ode tai maa ido eiko akkoom. Demgul ojo kaado o taati te ojo kaado ei maa i. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she got cut off, but uh Grandma D, did you want to comment on anything she said before she got cut off? Okay. I'm on Zoom anyway. I'm on Zoom. Okay. I'm on the Zoom program right now. Okay. I'm on the road. Bye-bye. Uh, sorry, that phone call. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, uh, Grandma D, did you want to comment on what she said? Was that Lucy Somti? No, uh, Hazel. Oh, Hazel. Hazel. Okay. Hazel. Lucy was the speaker before her. Okay, okay, Hazel. And, uh, Hazel was saying that uh, she was uh, a young girl when she first learned, when they first she first remembers the gourd dance at Zolto. She said. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it's old called, but anyway, that was it. She first saw that, and then, then uh, getting back to the flag, said that was a big. Uh, uh, I think she's the one that explained before that when the Kiowa men came, who were uh, in uh, Europe, they came back. Uh, this chief son, Lon Opitum. And didn't return with the rest of them, and and so it was. I guess quite a while after everyone, everyone came that he came back, and she's the one that said at some other place said I guess he was just sightseeing, <laughs> and, and then he finally came home, and he didn't write to anyone that he was coming. He just came. And so they were all glad and happy about that. So that's when they had a great big uh, victory dance. Before then, they had dances that for these uh, veterans that came at their home, wherever they lived, their parents lived or family lived, that's where they held the dance. And she mentioned the callers. Um, anyway. I go. I can't remember. Uh, Gilbert Colley, I think a brother. Anyway, somewhere in there, <clears throat> they danced. She, they, those were mentioned, but this is after the others came in. Then this long opportunity at the time, she's speaking. Hazel said, "He's still living," and so they <clears throat> they had a big dance, and they said they were even gourd dance. Dancers were there, and they had a victory dance, and uh, 
the women dance there. And everybody, I guess, was just, they were all prepared and ready to have this dance. They had it, it was a big dance. And she mentioned um, the chief's family that was there, his sister was uh, uh, Dame Gula. And uh, anyway, that's where she got cut off. Oh, yeah. But she made me laugh in Pablo. She said, I guess he's just going around sightseeing in Europe and everybody came. <laughs> and it came way after. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's a lot out of it, even even though she got cut off, cut short. But uh -huh. awesome. Um, Miss Marion, would you like to add anything to that? Well, she was saying that uh, in the beginning, when the soldiers were first came home, they did not have a flag. And uh, they were saying so. And uh, they, that, that uh, as she's talking about when they had this great this dance, this larger dance that uh, the Lord just described, that they had a lot of uh, food and it was, they had a gourd dance, they had a scalp dance, and she participated in the dances and the scalp dance. And that was just a, that was just a good uh, celebration that they were, you know, happy that. The soldiers came home, and but at that time, oh, she said she didn't know all the traditions, or you know, about why they were doing these certain dances at that time. And then, whatever other comments that Dolores made, I agree with them. Oh, bye. oh, oh. Um, Miss Velma, would you like to add anything? No, I think they covered most of it. Oh, oh, uh, Grandma Martha, no, okay. Um, <clears throat> she's talking at the first. She said she mentioned there was no flag at that time, and she said, and it was the big war, and some of these men started returning home, but that one didn't come back till later, you know, didn't know what happened. She said she was uh, married already at that time, and she was a mother, so she was kind of a little older, I guess. And that's what the only thing I can add to it. Oh, oh, who? All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see what this next part is. We have a couple minutes left in this recording, so we'll see who this is. Good dog. I paid out, get out there. I come. I'm going to them. Yeah, those are on my out Dog yet on my pet dog. Damn over a dog. All cockal, damn over a goo. On a name, Guna. Dog that on
נכון, כי היי, כי תאי דרכה דרכה, היי קאולתה, קטע הומי, כהון היי, כקויות דפטו, הון הפרום דתום, כקדום, דרכה כנן הפרום. Okay. Opaha, I guess that tapes over. Uh, Grandma D, would you like to share uh, any comments? I think that was your your dad, right? Uh, <clears throat> oh. Who was talking about gore dance songs, gore dance songs and the dance. And he said, you sing three songs. Singers sing three songs. And they sing softly, not loud. And they beat the drum the same way. And then after that, then they, uh, next song, they dance to it. That's what he's talking about, the gourd dance. And then, and then he talks about, uh, the uh, flag, since the others were talking about it, or when it became a part of any time the Kai was tense. And that came after uh, uh, war, uh, the wars, and uh, they uh, began to, she said, all Kai. They brought the, the the white people had the flag, and so and then the wars came, and then the 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 uh, that's associated with with the warriors, and and so that's how the flag songs about the flag came to be. And he, I don't remember how he said it, but anyway, he said that the the flag is what. Uh, uh, seems to uh, keep everyone together. And so I don't remember how I said that, but anyway. Uh, and now the <clears throat> uh, Native Americans, everyone has flag, songs about the flag. <clears throat> Obaha. <clears throat> Oh, oh. Um, Miss Marion, would you like to add any comments? Just a couple. I was uh, trying to see what I wrote down. Uh, oh, he just said we're discussing the gourd dance. They talk about the, the start of it. What he said about, you know, singing. Three times, and you, it starts out gently beating the drum, and you don't dance until the next song. And, 
in the past, uh, the way they danced to this or whatever is not. Today is different. And then the flag was made like the flag song. And uh, today we fight the enemy. And they have the flag song. He says, because of the flag, my understanding was it unites the men, the military. And he's, to me, he's referring to the Indian military or Indian men and the white people. And there are songs made for the flag. And Omaha, but I would like to add that I don't think other tribes have a flag song because of what I've witnessed, I don't know, maybe they do now, but what I have witnessed for years away with other tribes they were they were like copying our Kiowa way of holy uh, dances and uh, they would whenever they would start a dance or powwow whatever they were having they would uh, ask someone to sing a flag song and they would just sing any song could be whatever they just you know, came to mind. And then later on, they'd be, you know, dancing to that same song. And I'd hear it a few times, and people were dancing to it. And to me, that was, you know, that was not a flag song. They would just sing a song just to bring the flag in. Okay, I guess I better stop there. <laughs> but, that, but I know our people have a flag song. And to me, I've always been... Uh, really proud of that because that was created amongst our Kiowa back in uh, World War II, one or two. And uh, that was the beginning of the honoring of the U.S. flag and our soldiers um, working together. Oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, oh uh, Ms. Velma, would you like to add anything? I just want to comment again on, on what Marion was saying about the flag song. You know, we went to, uh, in my younger days, eh? well, anyway, out west and different ones, the different powwows, they, they, the only flag song that they ever sang was the Kiowa flag song. But now, I think most tribes have their own. I know the Navajos made theirs, you know, but they used, the Navajos used the Kiowa flag song for years, and then they, 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 uh, then they made their own, their own flag song. So, you know, it's just uh, like, like Marion said, I always felt so proud when I would hear that Kiowa flag song. It represents just so much, you know, uh, with, with like, uh, I don't know, just our, our goi, goi sole go. And, you know, my, my dad, my uncles, you know, so. But uh, that, that's all I wanted to comment on. Oh, uh oh. Uh, Grandma Marcinelle? Okay, I'm not going to add too much to what they said uh, that, that he was saying, but um, I was going to say when Dolores told me that story, um, after that, it seemed like every time I heard the Kawa Black song begin, it I always wanted to move my foot because it's like a... Uh, you know, a uh, scalp dance beat to it. <laughs> and then much later on, I think the Comanche tribe made their song and they used like that same scalp dance start and then they put in their Comanche words. But I didn't don't remember hearing them sing it too long ago. It was just pretty recent, I think. But that's all I'm going to say. Oh. Can, I, can I make another comment? That just is, I don't know. I, I, I was I was watching on Zoom that that Choctaw powwow, and this some Sioux drum group. They asked them to do the you know after the flag song they do the victory song, and so and then this guy had had this long. Uh, it was commenting that this song was made like in the eighteen whatever by a certain Sioux chief, and they started singing, and there was the Kawa victory song. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was a kind of victory song, and they just kind of tweaked it a bit. And so I, I, I mentioned that to Joe Fish last, last week, and I said, I said that just really bothered me. You know, I, I don't know why, but it just because it was a victory song. And he says, "Oh, I know all about it." He said, "He said that he always gets into it with those suit guys because they, you know, they they talk mm -hmm. about that." And, but yeah, that just I, I I couldn't believe it, you know. And, <laughs> they're trying they to just, claim it. They're trying to claim yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, they were. They are. They do claim it. That's what I heard. Somebody said to me, "Oh, the guy was talking the Sioux and his." I said, "No, no, no." So I just, "Oh, yes, they did." And I said, "No," and we almost kind of fight, you know. <laughs> because I'm saying that is not true. <laughs> Those are um, our songs. Well, my uh, I have a recording uh, of my mother describing uh, the dance that while well, she was talking about November 11, Veterans Day songs, and what it meant to her, and on down, and then. She talked about uh, this dance at <clears throat> uh, Kataiki, where he lived, and the, and they were having this dance for his son, and uh, I don't remember. Anyway, she said <clears throat> they were singing, and the men were singing big trio scalp dance songs mm -hmm. and she was coming down the hill i said there i guess at her brother's place that's dame it's it's Apichon's sister and uh, she was coming down the hill and they were singing that song and she was singing and then she had a small flag in her hand and as they were singing and then she put the words to that song because she was happy I mean, I'm just saying that. I said, on their own day by own gift. Mm -hmm. And so, and those are her words that she was singing as she was coming down the hill with a small flag in her hand. And she said, and so that's the song that we call our flag song. And then she made me laugh at the end of her talk. She said, I know because I was there and I saw it and I heard it. So anyway. That's that's our flag song. It's a is it a is it a scalp dance or a victory dance? One or the other. I don't know. She said in the recording, but I haven't listened in a long time. But it's an old Kiowa victory or scalp dance song. It was she did not make it for this for her nephew or this time or anything. Her her nephew was long Apitone. And that's who the dance was for. But she it's an old song, a very old Kiowa song. So <clears throat> they didn't they didn't have they didn't uh, make it as fair. She just put the words of this song and so that's what we sing. But it is Kiowa. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a very old Kiowa song. Koba. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's just Kiowa through and through. <laughs> oh. Um. Well, that was really, really interesting, really informative uh, session. Hey, recording. Uh, Grandma D, is that uh, story in that song? Um, uh, is it somewhere in one of these tapes, the Kiowa Culture Program tapes, or is it a different recording? No, it's not in there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. We have about 
19 minutes left. Um, I guess we could go ahead and end there. Um, I'm gonna have to go uh, get started on dinner soon, but um, <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll have our session again next Sunday. Um, and I think we wanted to start looking at uh, recordings for um, our Christmas, our December outreach. So I'll locate some and have those ready for next week so we can um, listen to those and make, see what transcriptions we want to share for our outreach in December. Um, but let's see, does anyone have any other questions or comments before we close up? Okay, um, let's see. Um, uh, Grandma Martha Nell, um, if you're able to fade out, I close us oh. up today. Oh, stop on mine, Tati. Stop on the get to anger. Go ahead, don't get. I'm get calm, I got. Go ahead, don't get on get those on my um they only the army go eight they get on I just wanted to say that um you've given us a lot in our culture so we can look back on it and, and continue to learn and share that with our early learners. And so that they might be able to pass this information on when we're no longer here. And we'd like to say thank you for watching over everybody here who's here today and their families. Uh, and we might have mourners. Please watch over them too. Uh, we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh. 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 <clears throat> Awesome. All right. Well, everyone, um, hopefully our, our nice weather holds up. It's really pretty outside. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully you get to enjoy some nice weather before it gets cold. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see, this is a upcoming week is Rock Your Box Week. <laughs> so mm -hmm. the students at, uh, at our um, high school and our Native American club, they're doing all kinds of activities for Rock Your Mocks. So, and I know uh, over in Carnegie, they usually do some stuff. So it'll be fun to see what the students are doing this week. So with that, I guess I'll let everyone go and we'll uh, catch up again next Sunday. And then we'll start talking about our Christmas, um, look for some Christmas words of wisdom to share with, with our outreach. So, yeah. All right. Hega ba oi bong da. Hega ba oi tong ta da. Oh. 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 Oh.